Hi there, AutoCAD experts. I uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video on how to print from AutoCAD. Um, and uh, basically, uh, the uh, a lot of you are not using a template. I would strongly recommend that you use a template because it's already set up with uh, some layouts to scale. Um, but what I'll show you here tonight is um, uh, basically the uh, uh, way you can print um, without the template, since some of you may be reticent to use it, and uh, and then how to print uh, from layout, from paper space. So uh, first of all, here I am in model space. You can see I have a lot of different layers. Uh, thank you, unnamed student who lent me your drawing. And uh, what you do when you print from AutoCAD, you go to uh, the uh, application button and then print or uh, command or control P. Um, with AutoCAD, you need to do the page setup first. You need to manage your page setups. And uh, the reason is because you can print really to a million different sizes of paper in uh, AutoCAD. And, um, uh, you know, it's not just like a home printer, which is just eight and a half by 11. So, and there's none in this model. There's no template or anything here. So I'm just gonna click new. And uh, what I wanna do, I'm gonna make an 11 by 17 uh, size, uh, maybe black and white paper. Click okay. And uh, the reason I'm doing this, uh, partly because it costs a nickel to print on 11 by 17. So we like 11 by 17. Um, that's, the, that's the main reason. Anyway, uh, I think I mentioned in my previous video that you can use Adobe PDF or Bullzip PDF. Um, another one that you can use, and I'm going to show you here, um, is DWG to PDF. Now, this doesn't always get installed uh, depending on auto, uh, the version of AutoCAD that you get, and I, it, it doesn't always come on the Mac side, um, but it is awfully convenient. Um, and the main idea is you need to get it to a PDF somehow, um, but I'm going to use this one. Uh, this works the same way with uh, the uh, Adobe version, just this one has the architectural page styles already in it. So I'll choose that one. What you'll see uh, when I go to the paper size, there's a long list of different uh, page sizes, Arch A, B, C, D, uh, ANSI, um, uh, also has some standards. Um, whatever size, it doesn't really matter actually if you choose ANSI or Arch, just so long as you choose uh, 11 by 17 or really 17 by 11. I don't know why we say it. 11 by 17 when it's really 17 wide um, and it previews it here uh, in this menu um, the uh, other things that you want to uh, choose here there's the plot area what to plot um, there's a number of different options uh, when you print from model space there's an infinite amount of space in model space um, that's why you want to use this option for window I'm gonna check window and what you see is it sends me to model space and it says specify first corner it wants me to draw a rectangle so I'm gonna click and draw a rectangle just around the plan I don't have any dimensions or anything on here and uh, what you'll see is it said oh you've you've got a window um, and it even previews it for me here, uh, depending on the scale. Now, right now, I'm, sc I'm scaling it to fit the paper. You don't want to do that. You want to print to a specific architectural scale. And if I come down here in my, in my uh, list of plot scales, it actually has the standard architectural scales. And it's in metric, too, if you, if you want the metric version. So if I choose a uh, quarter inch here, let me choose uh, eighth inch scale. You see how it gets really small. And this is actually a great reminder for you of, oh, how big am I making this drawing uh, when I print it out? Because, you know, virtual world, everything is drawn one to one. Uh, when we print from model space, we choose the scale right here. So I'm going to choose a quarter inch scale. That seems to fit on the paper pretty well. Um, the uh, last thing you want to do up here, there's something called the plot style table. Now, if you're using the template, it's already going to say something, hopefully, like monochrome. Without the template, you need to choose one of these plot style tables. And this tells uh, AutoCAD how to handle the different colors. Now, in this case, we want to ignore them. We want it to be monochrome. And it says, do you really want to do this to all the layouts that use this particular table? And yes, I do. And finally, if I click this display plot styles, what you'll see, you'll actually see a preview here in uh, uh, paper uh, model space of the black and white line weight. So I'm going to do that. Rather than click this preview, I'll actually show you it over here. 
Um, finally, uh, I've, I've created this new uh, page setup. I need to set it current. And you see how it actually puts it up here is set current. I'll close this. And lo and behold, my drawing turns black and white. And of course, you can undo this uh, change if you want your colors back. Anyway, now when I go to print, I'll just do Control P or Command P. You'll see it remembers that this is the page setup. I can choose none if I wanted to get it back to black and white. Uh, or black back into color um, and it remembers the size and all that kind of stuff so all I have to do is click uh, OK I'm gonna just preview it when I do that it gives me this little warning message that says your annotation scale is not equal to your plot scale annotation scales this thing down here where we choose the scale of dimensions and notes um, and we try to match that to the uh, the scale that we're printing at but anyway, printing from paper sp uh, model space, it doesn't matter. Anyway, here you go. Here's a beautiful drawing. The line weights are terrible, but um, I'll, we'll have to fix that. Um, or actually, we'll fix it by hand this time around. So anyway, and then you just click uh, plot. Um, it'll say, oh, hey, you want to save this, don't you, as a document. There's no printer here. And just click Save, um, and it will open up as a PDF file. And there you go, a beautiful PDF. Now, the nice thing about printing this way is um, you don't have to think too much about page setup and stuff. Um, and if I wanted to print an enlarged plan, I'll go back to my print menu um, and I can choose a window that I want to print. If I just click window again, let's say I just want to do the bathroom here. I can just do the uh, draw a window around the bathroom and I'll change the scale. Let's say half inch. That's good size for that. Um, oh, well, you can make it even bigger. Let's make it three quarters of an inch. You can see it filling up the page here. And uh, now when I click preview, oh, it gives me that warning message again. You can see I'm going to get a much bigger floor plan for my partial plan, my uh, bathroom plan. So anyway, that's a great way that you can save these different views um, without a whole lot of trouble. Now, uh, really, that's, uh, that's the quick and dirty kind of way to do it. If you are using a template, you'll probably see these layouts down at the bottom of the screen. And uh, on those layouts, uh, those are, uh, if uh, you remember from last semester, those are called paper space. And these also, you have to do your page setup. So I'm just going to go to my page setup, and it probably doesn't uh, remember um, what uh, we had set up. I'm going to use my previous plot, which uh, I think was the one I just did. Oh, no, I guess it's got a different page size. Um, that's one way to do it. Or you could go and make a new uh, page setup uh, like we did before. Um, once again, I'm going to set it to 11 by 17. In this case, what to plot is not a window, it's the layout. Whenever you print from paper space, you always print the layout. And whenever you print from paper space, you always use a one-to-one -one plot scale. This is important because if you don't, if you use one of these scales, in all likelihood your drawing will be very, very small. Uh, and we don't want that. Anyway, the last thing is, uh, as in the other one, uh, other uh, page setup, you'll want to use this monochrome.ctb. If yours does not have uh, monochrome.ctb, but instead .stb, it's a little tricky. You have to go back to uh, your drawing and type in the word convert P styles, all one word, convert P styles and enter. And what that will do, that will convert your drawing into something that can print in black and white. And then you'll see this monochrome.ctb. So anyway, I'm gonna click okay here. And uh, now that I've uh, created this setup, I guess I probably could name it. I'm gonna set it current and close. And you can see my page size changed. That's an 11 by 17 page. And if I click the viewport, that's how I set the paper scale, uh, the uh, uh, architectural printing scale. So if you remember, um, you get the properties of the viewport. See, it says it tells you what the, that it's a viewport. And you go down to the standard scale and just choose the scale you want to print at. In this case, it's quarter of an inch. Um, but let's say I wanted to have two on here. Uh, let's print it because I, 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 I can't remember what size your your paper uh, your models have to be at. But um, I could have an eighth inch scale, and I could copy my viewport, and maybe I'll do an enlarged plan right next door. Don't worry uh, about the. Um, uh, it's showing in color. When you go to print it, it will show up in black and white. Anyway, in this enlarged plan, I can make the scale of that something entirely different. And this is the advantage of printing um, from uh, paper space, 
is that, uh, whoops, I zoomed by mistake, don't zoom. See how that messes up the uh, scale? I'll just come back here, I see I've totally messed up my custom scale. I need to make that, uh, what did I say, half an inch, I think. There we go. So there's a nice enlarged plan of the bathroom next to a detailed plan of um, my, uh, or, or of an overall plan. Anyway, uh, and when you go to print this, I'll just go to Control P to print the, uh, oh, the viewports are printing. In this case, I, I don't want them to print. Whoops, uh, let me cancel out of that. Uh, to get the viewports not to print, hopefully some of you remember, you put it on a layer that is a non-printing layer, which we don't have in this drawing. Okay, so uh, what we'll have to do is um, we'll go to our, we could go to our layers menu, layer, and again I always type stuff in because it's just a whole lot easier. And uh, let's see, how do I make a new layer? This is a new layer, right? And uh, I'll call it uh, no plot. And uh, what you can do in the properties here, one of the properties of layers can be that it doesn't print. We like layers like that for things like viewports. I'll just select the viewport and instead of a wall, I'm going a wall here, I'm gonna put it on the no plot layer. There you go. So now when we go to print, and of course some people like to see those uh, viewports in there. I don't, I like it kind of like this. Um, I mean, you'll be hand drawing uh, over these anyway, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Anyway, there you go. You uh, finish your print, you save it as a PDF, and you can take that into the digital print lab. And it's much, much easier to print a PDF than it is to print directly from AutoCAD. And that's why we go through this whole um, adventure. Uh, and this is true actually for most of our programs, so uh, might, as well, might as well get used to it. Uh, and good luck uh, getting these to print out to scale.